What's going on everybody? Painblade back here again from server 1 representing IEC and guys here I am sitting last night making a unit prediction video on Pain and Nagato. I put all of the editing in and I'm just like you know what I'm going to release this tomorrow morning just because it's fresh it'll be new and everybody will be excited to see what I think and boy was I ever off. So here I am guys on the Twitter page of NXB and uh and wow what a shock this is like this is crazy so if you guys don't know what this is um there's a bun there and then an armor with a little bit of green so this looks like a baruto banner and if you guys don't know who the bun belongs to it actually belongs to orichimaru um from the anime there and we know he's been experimenting and making clones and we know that the armor could either belong to mitsuki's brother uh, or Mitsuki himself and we do know the green does indicate the green sparkle on the right there indicates that it's uh, it's sage mode I believe so it looks like we're getting what a lot of people have been waiting for and that is sage mode uh, Mitsuki and we're getting an a rich NSR Richimaru now this is interesting because I, I expected them to kind of keep track with one more single banner and I think a lot of us did to complete the whole pain arc so it looks like we're not ready for the new pain or nagato yet so i'm very very shocked the fact that they've decided to go this route i mean it's kind of nice because everybody was afraid that we're going to keep getting the single ur banners but i knew it was going to be just a phase for this to finish off and here we are we're back to going to an sr and a ur now it's a little bit strange because i personally would have loved to see both of these be ur um i, I think a rich Mara plays such a vital role in in all of the anime in general and it ends here, especially because he's making these clones, right? Um, so it's going to be interesting to see him as an SR. But Mitsuki Sage Mode, I know a lot, a lot of people have been waiting for this. Not only because he's just such a cool character, but the Sage Mode is so, so OP in this. So this is what we're getting, guys. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Are you guys happy about this? I'm assuming. I, I personally think it's kind of cool. So they're going back to the to the to what they've done before, where it's two uh, Naruto banners and one Baruto banner. So it's kind of nice to see the switch up. And... We were talking about this on the podcast, right? We were talking about how they need to start, like, Tribes need to be the first real game to start breaking into the Baruto character barrier. Uh, it looks like they're starting to finally do that, um, which is interesting, right? So if you guys are uh, if you guys are interested in this, let me know. I'm curious in the comment section what you guys feel about this because I think the Baruto character universe is so vast and so big, especially with the anime growing and the manga growing. That there's so much potential here to continue getting new characters in here and i've been saying this for a while like having the baruto characters especially bring in brand new art characters as the classmates would be a fantastic thing to do because then we have the old generation r's which is like you know ten ten kiba the the teams from naruto essentially and then you can bring in the classmates from baruto and have them also be um are ours and then you guys can compete against old generation versus new generation ours the only thing that'll be a, a kind of a problem obviously with that is the fact that the old generation ours from this game uh which is the naruto uh, shippuden versions are all non-power creep versions so i'm assuming the new ours that come out will be power creep which is kind of cool because that means a lot of people can actually build our team for fun and it's easier, you guys, as you guys know, it's easier to promote ours, easier to, to, to ascend them, etc. And to have power creep ours, that, that, that would actually make it kind of viable, to be honest with you. So, I mean, there's a lot of good for that. So for here, I'm assuming we're not going to see any ours. We probably will see an Orochimaru at an SR, and we'll see Mitsuki, if it is Mitsuki Sage, well, not his brother, we'll probably see him as a UR. If it's the flip side, if it's the brother and Orochimaru, I, I don't think it is. I think it's Mitsuki. Um, I think we're going to see a UR Orochimaru. Um, and then a SR, uh, his, so the clone brother, right? So uh, I don't even remember his name. Somebody can, if somebody in the comment section can let me remember his name. I, I don't recall it. Uh, I remember him him going to fight against him, obviously with the armor on, and uh, you know they put on a whole show for for Mitsuki, and Mitsuki goes sh sage mode in that in that episode. Um, so yeah, I, I think uh, I think this is kind of a cool banner. I'm, I'm actually really happy they're going to the uh, SRs now. In terms of what their abilities are going to be, this is this is where I'm kind of thrown off. Um, I personally have not seen enough of Sage Mode Mitsuki in the anime. Um, I haven't been reading the manga, to be honest with you, so there's probably a lot that he does in there that I'm missing out on. Uh, all I do know is it's extremely, extremely powerful, so it's kind of cool to finally get into that. Now, Mitsuki went, as you guys know, Mitsuki is an R unit in this game, so I thought for sure they would have brought an SR version, like they did with uh, 
with Baruto, right? They went from SR to UR. So I thought here, in the same thing, Sarada, they went from SR to UR. So I thought here for sure you'd get from an R to an SR, not all the way to a UR. Um, which is why I'm a little hesitant to say he will be the UR, but it, from what it looks like, from the two characters coming out, it would make the most amount of sense. Even though, again, Richimaru is very powerful and he still is one of the biggest influences in, in the show uh, in terms of his experiments and what he's been doing, right? So um, I wouldn't be surprised if this is the WR, but at the same time, I wouldn't be surprised if Mitsuki is the uh, the UR only and, and Richimaru is the SR. Uh, in terms of abilities, guys, this is where I'm kind of thrown off. Like, I don't really know what to expect here for ability wise, right? Um, like, I do know he has insane speed, apparently rivaling even um, the fourth Hokage when he goes into Sage mode. Like, I know he has, he can, can stretch his limbs. That's that's a given. We all know this. He does it already in his regular mode. And we also know that he has, like, uh, like, like protective snakes that cover him up. And uh, he can do, like, underwater breathing even longer. So, like, his Sage mode is different than, obviously, Naruto's. Not from the Toad. He gets from the White Snake. So, it'll be cool and interesting to see what he brings um, to the table. Now, in terms of Richimaru, I, I have no idea what he's going to do. Like, he's just a Richimaru with the regular snakes. And, you know, he's got the ability to, to do the same thing. He can revive uh, through through different bodies again so i'm curious to see if this is the first time they're going to introduce something new i've been saying this for a while like they need to introduce a new kit for these characters because eventually someone's going to have to break that bubble right there's always the same moves always the same re-kits on everybody so eventually you've got to create a character or or characters that bring in new things so in terms of like what they're going to be what they are going to be I'm assuming uh, that we're going to see a T and a D or a T and an A or maybe double T's because we all know how much Bandai loves to see uh, T units come out. So what I'm thinking is Sage Mode is going to be probably a D character or a T character and the Richard Mar for sure will be T. I don't see him being anything else other than that. Uh, I mean, we've already got, what, a, uh, a T version and a D version of Richie Mara. So, I mean, we could maybe see an A. I just don't see where he fits as an A unit. Like, he's he's so he's all about buffs and debuffs. He's all about trickery. He's all about, like, deceptive deceptiveness. So, like, so it seems like T unit for a Richie Mara seems like the natural fit. Uh, Mitsuki can go any way, though, guys, honestly. Like, we already have a T and an A that came out. We're missing a D. And he goes into into sage mode right when he's when he's pure desperation or sometimes he just naturally goes into it because his body just allows him to. Uh, but he's always in, in in somewhat protective mode, right? So that's what I'm thinking. Maybe D unit for him, um, or maybe we're gonna get another A unit, which I wouldn't mind. Honestly, my A units are fantastic, and I love A units because of their training gem section for critical and critical damage. They're just too OP with that. So if they make him an A unit, I'm hoping he's A. Uh, I hope it's not double T though. Honestly, they that's the thing with Miski can go anyway. So I'm really hoping. Hoping it's either a D or an A uh, and not a T, but a rich tomorrow I'm almost seeing almost a T for sure. All right, guys, this is Pain. I'm pretty damn excited. This is supposed to be coming out sometime. I, I'm assuming it's going to come out when the FG ends with uh, Six Tails. So keep an eye out for this, guys. And uh, yeah, the moment this comes out, you know what I'll be doing. I'll do leaks. I'll do, uh, you know, uh, I'll do the whole Q, Q and A. I'll do a summon video. I'll do a review on each of the characters. And we'll get these guys up and running as soon as we can to get you guys the fastest bit of information as possible. All right, guys, enjoy the rest of your day. We'll talk soon.